Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars. You're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned your subscription. What I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to try to address a question that a viewer posed the other day about the position of the adjustment nut on a truss rod. Should it be at the headstock end of the neck or at the heel end? Does it matter? Which is better? Well, in truth, whether the adjustment nut is at the headstock or the heel doesn't really matter as far as how the truss rod performs. It's going to do the same thing regardless of which position it's placed in. However, when it comes to positioning the truss rod, what you need to know is where the truss rod's maximum deflection is once it's adjusted because that's where your neck relief is going to be on your fretboard. So you have to first of all decide where you want that relief to be on the fretboard. And typically it's usually about the middle of the fretboard, which is roughly somewhere between the 8th and 9th fret. And that's where we want the uh, relief to be adjusted. So what you need to do then next is before you've routed your slot or done any of that kind of work is you want to take the truss rod you're going to uh, use and then you want to adjust it to, to induce bow in the truss rod. And what that means with this particular truss rod is I have to adjust it. If, I, if I'm facing the front of the nut, I have to turn it counterclockwise a couple of turns. And what happens is the truss rod will bow like this. Then what you can do is take a ruler, a straight edge ruler, and place it so that you can see where that maximum deflection is from the straight edge. And you can, you know, lay it down and, and do a very careful measurement to figure out exactly where that is. Uh, I'm just eyeballing it here and I can tell that the maximum deflection is right at seven and a quarter inches from this end of the ruler. So then what I would do is I would place that seven and a quarter on the fretboard right where I want to be able to adjust the relief. And then I'll look to see this is where the uh, end of the adjustable part of the truss rod is, which is it's this uh, area that's uh, enclosed in the blue plastic but then I have about an inch and a half beyond that for the adjustment nut so that would kind of give me an idea this is where my adjustment nut would be if I wanted to have the adjustment at seven and a quarter inches now obviously in this situation the truss rod nut is way far back from the headstock and the nut. So accessing it with a tool would be really difficult to do. Now I do have, this is my truss rod adjustment wrench. This is a four millimeter extra long um, hex wrench. I got this from Bondus and I can easily get it in there. But if I were to sell this guitar to somebody else, they're gonna have some issues trying to access. So what I would have to do in this case and that's the reason why I haven't used this particular truss rod, is I would need to buy a longer truss rod. That would move the adjustment nut closer to the headstock while leaving the point of maximum deflection right at that seven and a quarter inches, which is placed around the um, ninth fret. So if I were to flip the truss rod around, that maximum deflection would be moved closer to the 10th fret. So you can see how the position of the, of the adjustment nut, whether it's at the heel or the headstock, will change where that maximum deflection is. So you just have to kind of lay this out with the truss rod that you're gonna to use to figure out where to position the adjustment nut. Now, if you haven't made the guitar neck yet, which you shouldn't have when you're at this planning stage, you can look at different length truss rods and then kind of calculate roughly where that 
center of maximum deflection is going to be. And then that way you can kind of plan out whether you need to put that adjustment nut at the heel or at the headstock before you do anything. But then once you've uh, selected a truss rod, purchase it, have it shipped to you, and then actually make this adjustment just to, to be absolutely certain where that maximum deflection is going to be. That way you can more precisely lay out where you want that truss rod to be positioned in the neck. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I think it's, it's one of those topics that you can easily overthink. Um, you're going to get adjustment range all through this center part for probably a good two to three inches on either side of that maximum deflection. But if you're a real stickler about where you want that relief to be on the fretboard, then you will need to determine where that um, uh, center of that maximum deflection is before you start routing the slot. And then that way you can get that truss rod precisely positioned to meet your needs. So uh, I hope that you found this video to be useful. Uh, if so, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, again, welcome. I hope I've earned your subscription. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I hope I'll see you in a future episode.